Welcome back, everybody. The Christmas weekend is over. Christmas is behind us. Oh, man, what a busy weekend. It was, I don't know about you guys, but it was a busy weekend. I need my coffee after that. Oh. <sighs> Nothing like a good cup of coffee to get you going in the morning. Ah, yes, very good. All right. But it is Tuesday. We've got a short week this week. I'm gonna run up to Friday and New Year's. And it's that time of year where we have to start thinking of our goals. What goals do we have for ourselves in the upcoming year? And 
A lot of people know them as New Year's resolutions, and yeah, that's good. You can do your New Year's resolutions, but goals is where it's at. You gotta start thinking, what do I, in, in the beginning of the year, it's a great time because it's, it starts at one, right? The first month, the first day, and you get a count, you got a nice even count ahead of you. Of, trajectory January there's not much going on in January anyway it's cold it's still wintry and February not much more of them Valentine's Day blah. I mean it's cool if you're into that kind of thing just kidding uh, and then March rolls us into spring and so on and so on so really January and February are great months to get your get on track get some habits going for your goals so start working on your goals what do you want to who do you want to be next year? Where do you want to be by summertime? Where do you want to be with your life or your independence or jobs? Where do you want to be by summertime or this time next year? You want to look back and be proud of the work you did. What is it going to be? So start working on your goals. I'd like to hear some. And there's a suggestion box over there. We got a new year of morning routines right ahead of us. Ooh, speaking of which, what is this Friday? What the what what number are we going to be on? Morning routine number, how many have we done over all these years? How many have we done? Friday, I think, is a special day. See what happens there. We had a lot of fun last week on our uh, our party. The karaoke was great. The videos were great. We're going to show you those videos this week and have a good time, good relaxing week as we get ready to start the new year, all right? Let's go back in the bearded past with Zach right here. Hey everybody! Welcome back from that awesome four day weekend and those holidays and let's get right to it. Going back, back in the bearded, bearded past, past with Zach. We're going to do a little music history today. And uh, I've got my cool leather coat on just for that reason. No, it's cold, actually. Um, so, in 1903 in New York City, the barbershop quartet favorite, Sweet Adeline, was sung for the very first time. You guys ever want to see that thing, that song sung? I, I'm telling you, well, I'm not kidding. Watch the Simpsons episode where they form a barber shop quartet and they actually sing that song during that for those of you who you know might not know where to find it Sweet Also, Radio City Music Hall opens its doors to the public for the first time, and this is done in 1932. Okay, also, we have Hello, Dolly, closed on Broadway after a run of 2,844 performances. This was in 1970. It's a lot of performances. The Sonny and Cher Show began airing on CBS. It ran for a half year. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Four and a half years. Um, it started in 1971. And in 1975, the year I was born, I, I was about six, seven months old at this time. The song, Oh, What a Night, was released by the Four Seasons. And uh, last but not least, the musical revival of Three from Brooklyn. Close after 45 performances. Man, the revival did not last very long. It wasn't revived too well. All right, guys. Enjoy. Welcome back. It's going to be a little bit of tough going, but hey, we're all in it together this week, man. All right, guys. Later. Very nice. Now Gabrielle is going to see what's going on this week. Still things going on in the neighborhood, of course. So let's see what she's got. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Here we are. We're fat and sassy, I hope, from having four days off. The big jolly man came. I hope you got lots of things you needed and things you wanted. 
And if you didn't, hopefully somebody gave you a gift card or some cash to go get them. You never know, right? Uh, but here we are. It's kind of like I call it the dead week. It's you know all the festivities all the fun has happened and it's like now that's this week before the new year and then you know what you're going to do for the new year there's not a lot going on around and about that i could find so um i'm going to tell you the national day before i tell you the national day i'm going to tell you that i did this national day before and it's the only one thing on this day so i'm really limited so I'm gonna tell you what it is again, in case you can't remember the last three times I've told you, considering we're getting really close to our 600th show. Uh, it's National Fruitcake Day. Did anybody get a fruitcake over the holidays? I didn't. Kinda glad about it. Not sure if I would want one. I haven't had a really good fruitcake since my grandmother passed away. She made a really good fruitcake. Maybe it's because it's all that brandy she soaked it with. Ooh. They weighed a lot. People were very excited to get her fruit cakes when I was young. That's before I was able or was allowed to eat them. And as I got older, then I realized why everybody liked that fruit cake so much. You didn't have to have a cocktail to, with it. It was a cocktail and a piece of bread. So um, if you got one, you have one, that's what day it is. It's the National Fruit Cake Day. Have a great day, everybody. Very good. All right, so we had our videos last week. Let's start with this group right here. It's gonna be good. All of them were great, had a lot of fun, good stuff. Let's see what we got. Archers in a pear tree pear. We don't use any pears in our pears. After our pears are harvested, they are brought to this special calming room for the flavors to mingle and mature. The finest hairs in the country. All that Perry stuff. <laughs> Very nice, everybody. Good job on the videos. We're gonna have a great week. It's gonna be a cool week. It's gonna be a calm week. We're gonna work on some goals and get ready to start off the new year running. All right, have a great Tuesday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday on the morning routine. Take care. I'm gonna do some more of my coffee right here.